Hello. Would you mind, please? Hello, everybody. How are you? Fine. Fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Once Mama told me that I would be anything without friends. Now I know what she meant. I wouldn't have gotten this happiness without you. Standing any nagging joke but humor, etc. Making Oshita's company <laughs> the best place to work. Unfortunately or not, I must retire because they death cold, no? <laughs> <laughs> I just would like to say that life wouldn't be so precious if the no was an end. Uh, the bittersweet moment has come. With the looking up, paid off. Well, nothing more to say that I love you so much. So, so much. Good. Stop. Remember something. Fortune, fame, mirror, vein, gone insane. But the memory remains. Isn't it? Thanks for being here, everyone. I wouldn't have gotten this award without the support of my mother, my my dad, and my friends and my teammates here present. I work hard every year to be the best, and after many years, I finally get this award. I was so anxious in getting it. And remember, never give up. If you give your best, you will have the recognition you deserve, and it will, and it will eventually pay off all the effort you make. The word surrender does not exist in my vocabulary. Well, everyone, everyone have a good night, and thanks again for giving me this recognition. Thanks to everyone. I would like to propose a toast for the couple. Five years ago, when I was with John in the campus, and he told me that he was in love with Mary, I told him, there is no way she can be in love with you. But now, here we are. And now, you are getting married. And everybody here is very happy for you and your beautiful wife. Some people say that the first years of marriage is the hardest, but I know that you are very strong, that you are a very strong couple, and you are getting <laughs> and you are going to fight with every obstacle. Then the kids and the years punch you. Anyway, the best witches and just enjoy your life. I will be more happy for you too. So let's talk for the room and the bride. Hey. Uh, the day is a big day. The little boy who used to sit next to me in classes uh, and being with me in every adventure, no matter how dangerous or stupid it was, um, is now already married. Um, <laughs> happy in my family. <laughs> Today is his happy day, and me as his friend, um, I could not be happier. I'm glad to see that my best friend has found the most perfect year for him. Oh, no. <laughs> and I just can't wish them the best. Um, I have a body I haven't embarrassed you. Um, and don't be stupid, and always remember to listen to me, Javier. And uh, she's always right. Uh, raise your glasses because I would like to propose a special toast to Javier and Javier. Um, excuse me, please. Excuse me, people. I would like to say something to our birthday man that today is turned 40 years old before before we start in, in this beautiful restaurant. People, do you remember uh, our school days? Sure, man. <laughs> I have to say that those days were the best days of my life, don't you think? Yes, I do. Well, anyway, I know that you remember all the stupid things we did together with our friends, uh, like Salvo, for example. By the way, Salvo, do you remember all the pretty things we did? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, <laughs> I remember once when we started shouting in math, and the teacher only blames people for all that noise, and then he took you out of the classroom. <laughs> and leaving aside all the stupid things, I would like to say, you are a great man. You were one of the funnest person I have ever met. You were always there when someone needs help, especially me. So I'd like you to give like this until we die, my dear friend. Uh, thanks for all. Have a very, very happy birthday. And let's have a toast for our birthday man. 
Okay, everybody, raise your glasses for the bride and the groom. <laughs> 